In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make money affiliate marketing with Facebook groups. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, my name is Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you're interested in different tips and tricks on how to find success online. All right, so as I just mentioned in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make money step-by-step -step with affiliate marketing within Facebook groups. Now, I want you to understand and be aware before we get started real quick, I want you to understand and be aware that Facebook and all other social media types, including YouTube, Facebook wants to keep you on Facebook or keep their users on Facebook because that's how they make their money. And so anytime you try and direct someone off of Facebook um, onto YouTube or you know your your personal website, whatever it is, that's actually going to get pushed down by the algorithm. The algorithm can look through your post and see that you are promoting something else other than possibly uh, um, staying on Facebook or, or promoting a Facebook product or service. So just keep that in mind. The algorithm will punish you or or put your content a little bit lower versus something that keeps them on keeps them on Facebook. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. So obviously step number one, real easy, join Facebook if you haven't already done so. Maybe you have a Facebook account and it's just deactivated. Go through and quickly reactivate that that Facebook page. All right, so that's number step one. That's step one. Step two is you wanna find and join relevant Facebook groups that are in your niche. Now I'm assuming that you've already created a niche. Maybe you've created some content and you found affiliate offers. All of that stuff is already done on on the back end if you haven't done that if you're not familiar with what i'm talking about check out some of my other youtube videos you through step by step choosing a niche choosing a niche choosing a platform and all of that good stuff but here i want to focus primarily on facebook anyway um join relevant groups you want to join join groups that are open or closed uh, some groups may ask you to fill out a few questions about your purpose um and some of the, some of your interests, just fill those out. It should take less than three minutes. What I recommend is start with five groups. The reason why you want to start with five is because you want to get an idea of what the group is about. There are a number of groups out there. Uh, for example, I'm in a number of affiliate marketing groups. And what some people do is they just spam their link all the time. There aren't really people asking questions. And so it's difficult for you to add value and gain traction if people are just spamming their links or, or spamming their, their products that they're promoting at the time. You want to look for groups that are people that have people that are asking questions and and really need help they're looking for direction they're looking for guidance you can find that for example i'm in another group where people come in they're they, they want to learn they want to have a lot of knowledge or they want to gain more understanding and so that's a great group to be in because you can help them out you can gain traction you can become a a, a an expert in the industry people will look to you for information all right, so again, look for groups where people are asking questions and not just promoting their own products. So that's number two. That's step number two. Once you have about five of those groups, then the real work and the real fun begins. So step three is to actually create a fan or business page. Now, step two and step three are kind of interchangeable, and you can actually do them both at the same time. But for me, I like to set up a fan or a business page so that when people want to learn about you because you've helped them out, you've provided so much information, you can kind of create a landing page of sorts for people to learn about you and possibly click on uh, affiliate products or services. So it's key that you set up a fan or business page. It doesn't really matter, but make sure that you, you create that so that you have a place to put your affiliate links. What I recommend is actually put some content on your fan or business page as well. Now, remember, um, Facebook is also a is also a search engine, and so and it's algorithm um, algorithm based. So if what I recommend is adding content to your fan page, so when people land on it, they just don't see your affiliate links. I recommend adding probably maybe 10 or 15 pieces of content. They can be short. They can be a little bit about your business, about what you're, what you're recommending. What I would actually recommend instead is doing, doing videos, do a number of videos around the, the niche that you've created or that you've selected. For example, if I was doing niche, a niche around these Sharpie pens, I would maybe spend some time talking about uh, the benefits of the Sharpie pen. And then that's where I would add the affiliate links because people are coming to your page and they want to learn a little bit more about you. They quite possibly will do what you direct them to do, which is to click the link to buy the pen. So uh, again, add maybe between five and 15 uh, pieces of content. I recommend video and then include your links in the description of the video. All right, so that's step number three. Step number four is you are actually going to add value to your Facebook page and your Facebook groups that you're in. You want to spend a lot of time in these groups answering questions. Anytime someone 
ask the question, you want to go in there and answer it. Now, you don't just want to go in there and provide a one or two sentence answer. You want to go in and provide three or four paragraphs because, because it shows that you have added value. You have spent time thinking about this and you really want to help that person out. So make sure that you go in with the mindset of adding three or four paragraphs and then direct them back to your fan page or your, your business page if they want to learn more, if they want information. And then once they click on that fan page or that business page, they'll be able to see your affiliate links and you'll have a little bit more success than just adding an affiliate link affiliate links because again Facebook tends to push those down they kind of suppress them it's important that you create this fan page as a landing page now what you want to do is anytime someone asks a question in one of your five groups that you've selected just go in there with the intention that you are going to help them out, solve their problem so that they don't have to look anywhere else. If you do this enough times, I would say maybe if you if you did this over the span of a week or two, people are going to see you as a knowledge base or as a subject matter expert. And once that happens, they'll start tagging you in their questions. They'll see, usually if someone's new to um, the, the, the Sharpie pen niche, Sharpie pen niche here, um, they're gonna look through a few different questions that people are asking and then they'll say, Hey, at Alston Godbolt, uh, I see that you have answered a lot of questions. Maybe you can help me out. And then once they they are asking you questions directly, you can go in there and you can add your affiliate link because they're looking for your answer. So they're just think about this. There's a few different ways that you're going to do this. You're going to create a fan page or, or a business page. You're going to add content and then you're going to add your affiliate links there. And then once you have gained enough traction and you're seen as a subject matter expert, you are going to add your affiliate links and the response posts. Um, what I would actually recommend instead of just adding affiliate links directly, I would actually add uh, landing pages so people will, will click the link they'll enter their email address and then from there they'll go on to the affiliate offer that you are recommending now the reason why you want to collect their email address is so that you can start on email marketing if you know anything about me and you know anything about this channel I am a huge proponent of email marketing the reason why you need email marketing as a beginner uh, affiliate marketer is because email marketing will grow your business exponentially. Uh, most customers, most most leads, they will only come back once or twice. If you have email marketing, you can retarget them for uh, the same product that you can retarget them for different products. You could actually do a special during holiday season, for example, uh, Christmas or, or any buying season. There's just so many more opportuni opportunities for you to make money with email marketing that you have to start it right away. Anyway, continuing on, you have people are starting to at you directly. You answer the question, you, you add your affiliate link, click here to learn more about whatever it is. Instead, again, of, of sending them directly to an affiliate offer, send them to a landing page. They will enter in their email address because they have built a rapport with your relationship. They know, like, and trust you. The next step is just continue to do this. You're going to do it over and over again as much as you want um, until you have the level of success that you're looking for. Now, what I would recommend is trying to get people back to your own website so that you don't have to spend a lot of time um, making Facebook money. You want to start making yourself some money and a few different revenue streams. I would either look at sending people directly to your website or sending people to something like your your YouTube channel or, or a podcast if that's what you're doing. The most important thing as an affiliate marketer is multiple streams of revenue. You don't want to just rely on affiliate marketing because it can dry out. What I would recommend again is I would send people to uh, maybe YouTube, uh, your YouTube videos or your your website where you have an opportunity to offer more products and services. You just want to keep doing this again until you find success. You don't have to do so many like you don't have to do five or six a day once you start to gain traction because people are going to start looking for you directly. Um, you will be subject matter expert. And then actually another thing that you can do as well is once you gain traction and people are looking for you directly, that's when you can start embedding your own YouTube videos and your own blog posts. What I would do, just run it by the, the moderator of the group and say, hey, look, uh, people are reaching out to me for information. How do you feel about me uploading my YouTube video maybe once a week, every Wednesday, just providing additional assistance? Most likely they're going to be okay with it because you know, you've already built that relationship with uh, the members of the group. You're a subject matter expert. You're a knowledge base. And so most people are going to be okay with that. But just run it by the moderator and let them know. People are asking me a lot of questions. I'd like to do a, a YouTube video or upload a, my blog post or send a link to my blog post once a week on Wednesdays so I can help everybody out and everyone can get the answers that they're looking for. If you want to know everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a guide 
guide to learn email marketing. As I mentioned for uh, just a few minutes ago, email marketing is key, it's pivotal, it's vital to your success as an affiliate marketer. So definitely click that first link, get that guide, and then learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.